Do y'all know what made me want to make this channel in the first place? I couldn't find enough good hiking and shooting videos. And the one or two people that were making hiking and shooting videos weren't broadcasting to inspire people to make their own hiking videos and shooting videos and things like that. <sighs> yeah, I was thinking about that. I've been thinking about that this week, obviously, with these uh, with these few few gun videos that I put up right in succession, and um, I enjoy them. I enjoy making them. Uh, I'll tell you what I found myself enjoying less and less has been the um, the the socio political economic videos uh, and and a friend of mine who I talk to quite often he picked up on that he picked up on uh, and he he's subtle in the way that that he he describes it you know he says like hey lamb dog you need to make gun videos I'm tired of watching the economic crap <laughs> I mean, how many, I, I, I can talk about economics till I'm blue in the face. And um, at first, at first when I was doing those videos, um, I, I got a lot of satisfaction out of them, just sort of speak in my mind. But the, the longer you go with them, and then the more comments that you get on one side or the other where where nobody's listening and nobody's looking to have their mind changed uh, it's not it's not as fun and there's no there's no incentive for me to be beyond beyond here beyond uh, enjoying myself and having fun and uh, and communicating with friends and and being on here like a virtual hangout so I'm not going to do something that I don't enjoy on here. And I'm not going to do something that my close friends on here aren't enjoying. Not that, not that I don't care about each and every one of you that, that views one of these vids. And um, I appreciate the people that have watched it. And I definitely, I salute anybody who's watched, watched all, of the, all of the videos. Uh, because there's... I don't know. I, I do rewatch my own videos, but there's been a couple that, you know, they get a little long in the tooth. You know what I mean? And I think even keeping an economic video to to four minutes is uh, uh, it's a tough road to hoe. You know, it, it still doesn't help. And uh, you know, trying to explain balance and morality when um, when the term morality has been so distorted and, and damaged by uh, by the people who are supposed to be some of the best human beings on the planet. Um, I don't know. I don't have a solution for that. And, uh, you know, frankly, frankly, I'm beyond giving a shit. Um, you know, how how am I supposed to get on here and espouse the the benefits of morality when you got these uh, Westboro Baptist people just, just, I don't know, man, just raking, raking some good names over the coals. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I'll figure out some other way to, to do it. Uh, maybe, maybe the best thing would be for me to not be so blatant and just sort of roll that, uh, quote unquote, moral business into the things that I do and then just sort of I don't know do by showing oh man went off on a little bit of a tangent there so anyway um I would say that as far as the channel goes I'm not going to say that the lamb dog 76 is going through a reboot of the channel I would call it a soft boot <laughs> You know, back in the day, you had like the hard boot and then the soft boot for the, your computer. It's more of a soft boot. Um, I want to get back into a little bit more doing on here, so uh, don't be surprised to see any of that. 
Now it does end up being um, it does end up being a little bit more work, and I'm not really sure how I'm going to work out. I mean, obviously the the content goes up a little bit more sporadically when you have when you have more to set up. But I think if you guys are going to the effort and the trouble to to go out of the way to watch my crap, I think it's worth a little bit of effort on my part for you. Uh, so that's that. The other part doo -doo 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 -doo, should be a pretty cool holiday season. Got a got a surprise coming up, and I don't know. Um, I don't know if if y'all are uh, remembering that, but uh, it's a surprise that I think some of the old, 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 old original subscribers will appreciate. And I know I'm looking forward to it, so it should be good. It should be a nice little for the holidays thing. I don't know if it's like on the holidays thing, but either way, not to uh, not to make make too much of it. I still do want to. Uh, I still do want to maybe slip you a, a boring ass uh, political Mickey every now and again, but um, I would like to be more practical in my approach, and I'm all ears for for people who have more experience in um, in dealing with that sort of thing. You know, I don't I don't want to be like a Rush Limbaugh or a Sean Hannity just just sitting in front of this. Uh, this camera bitching about stuff that none of us have any control over. I mean, what what am I going to do? I'm going to I'm going to share my aggravation with you and 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 then make you aggravated as well like a misery loves company and you tune in next time just so we can see what the hell the the people that we have no control over are up to now. Um better better I make stuff uh demonstrating and sharing with you how I'm dealing with it. And it's life. And uh, being a student of, of economics and a student of history, I can tell you that our, our country, the United States here, being, in my opinion, the most free in the world, it's been this way since its inception. It's always been, it's always been a struggle. People have always had a hard time. And um, like in Zombie Tactics' latest video, there's little things in life that, that go on regardless that are still part of life. You know, silly things like like cleaning the house and stuff. Like when he was uh, like when Zombie Tactics was talking about the monk. I mean, that really that really sunk home to me because uh, it came at a time when I just got done reading. We have a we have a uh, a periodical down here for hunters and fishermen called Woods and Water. And there was an article in there that that a gentleman wrote towards the towards the rear of it, and he talked about the different characteristics of different hunters. But the first sentence in his article was him mentioning the election and Obama being reelected. But around this time for this individual, he had friends that have uh, have personally suffered a great deal of of loss. And I'm not talking about they lost their jobs and stuff. I'm talking about family members getting sick or, or getting into trouble and things like that. And that article and this person talking about how his life was put into perspective when he was looking at the, at the politics so hard um, really hit home for me. And then, you know, when something else comes along at just the right time, it really drove it in there. And I think I might have been there at one time with this channel, and I'd like to get back to that. You know, I don't want to get, I don't want to get bogged down in, um, in just this, this mitigated corner that, uh, that is reserved for, for whack job libertarians, you know? I, um, I have and will continue to believe in individual freedom. And I have and will continue to believe in the individual is the most important uh, is the most important category of this nation. I don't see any sort of uh, a process or mission that is somehow greater than the individual freedom. Because how many individual freedoms 
can you can you sacrifice on the altar of a greater good before it's no longer worth it and who's calling those shots man that ain't cool okay that ain't cool at all you know you have to you have to reserve those individual freedoms and you have to figure out how to optimize them and you know from my my personal and spiritual beliefs you need to give a person the freedom and the room uh, to pursue to pursue God, to try to find truth, or you know to live their life as they see fit. I mean, if if you're not if you're not pursuing God, um, then I think personally, as a as a Christian, if if a person is blatantly not pursuing God or blatantly not pursuing uh, spiritual truth, then I think that that person needs to be left with as much room as possible on this earth because that is what what they're going to have. You know, that is going to be as much much enjoyment and joy and and grace that they experience on this earth is going to be it for them. That's going to be the uh that's going to be everything that they're going to get. And and who are we to to take that from someone? That's not our call. And I I think I think the Bible instructs as much. So, all that being said, um, I'm looking forward to the soft boot. It's feeling pretty good. I got a I got a couple of uh, production plans too, but I would like to keep it mixed up. Still, you know, I don't want to go to just uh, uh, pure pure HD like some of the other channels do, and I don't I don't want to go to just a, a pure hundred uh, percent one subject channel either. So um, I don't I'm not going to uh, I'm not going to step away from the variety, but I am going to be cautious in, in how I present certain subjects that aren't the normal uh, baseline subject, which is uh, outdoors, freedom and firearms. All right, so I think 12 plus minutes is a little is a little long for a. Uh, for an update vid, but I wanted to get up here and and express a couple things and and um, let y'all know what I was thinking and what was on my mind. We'll see y'all next time, and um, till then, y'all be good.